Hi, this is a gentlelady from California, Ms. Chu, for five minutes. This month is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. It is a time for us to take pride in our country's diversity and to celebrate the ways in which Asian Pacific Americans have contributed to the vibrancy of our nation. Today, Asian Pacific Americans are the fastest growing racial group in the country and now account for nearly 6% of the total population. Asian Pacific Americans are an incredibly diverse group comprised of over 45 distinct ethnicities speaking over 100 different language dialects. And we are represented in every arena of American life, from college presidents to public servants and CEOs, and even to an NBA basketball star, Jeremy Lin. This year marks a number of historic milestones for the Asian Pacific American community, including the 20th year since the formal establishment of APA Heritage Month, the 100th anniversary of the planting of the first cherry blossoms in our nation's capital, and the 150th year since the passage of the Pacific Railroad Act, which led to the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. This year also marks the anniversary of several painful events in our history, 130 years since the passage of the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, a discriminatory piece of legislation which prevented people of Chinese ancestry from becoming naturalized citizens and from ever having the right to vote, and 70 years since the signing of Executive Order 9066, which led to the internment of 120,000 Japanese Americans during World War II, and 30 years since the unpunished murder of Vincent Chin in Detroit by two unemployed auto workers who blamed him and all Asian Americans for the loss of their jobs. And although our history has indicated great progress since the days of discrimination, it is important to continue to remember our history in order to protect the civil rights of all Americans and to prevent these atrocities from ever happening again. As chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, or KPAC, I have the privilege of advocating for the APA community's needs and priorities on a broad range of issues, including civil rights, health care, economic justice, and immigration reform. This year, our caucus welcomed 12 new Congress members, bringing our total to a record high of 42 members. This means that KPAC will be able to serve as an even stronger voice for the Asian Pacific American community at all levels. And as the Asian Pacific American community continues to grow across the nation, not just in traditional strongholds like California, Hawaii, or New York, but also in states like Texas, Georgia, and Nevada, my colleagues and I will continue to ensure that the needs of the APA community are included as we push for policies that reignite the American dream for all. So as we celebrate Asian Pacific American Heritage Month this May, I hope you will join me and remember the many contributions that Asian Pacific Americans have made to our great country. Thank you.